All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Reva. How Bob Kebab is taking a break. He's used up too much of his free time in his earthly realm, so you'll be dealing with Reva. All right, guys. Time to get started. I'm going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know why it's his load game, I just started playing this game. Er, do I? Do I just put this away? Okay, I guess I just do this. Okay! New game! My name, I will. You know what? Reva, you know what? I'm gonna. Because this sounds friendlier than Reva. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, how about kebab? <laughs> hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious, like she don't fucking care about nothing else but herself. To any attention, she might draw to herself. Okay. That girl is Sayori. My neighbor and good friend since we Okay, why do you gotta call her annoying? You just call you just said you're good friends. Am I gonna be a two-faced motherfucker? You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today? But it just kinda works out because you've known each other for so long. Eh. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but studying around in high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. Why didn't you wake her up if you're such good friends? But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> yeah. However, I just sighed out in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh god! Your eyes! Ah! Ah! I almost left again! But I got you this time! Motherfucker! I'm sorry. I lost my... Uh, I lost my cool there. Uh, maybe. But only because I've decided to stop and wait for you. Hmm. And they want you chasing me everywhere. They want you to die. <laughs> You said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. <gasps> That's mean, how bad, come on. You know what? <laughs> I actually do ignore my girlfriend quite a bit. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine. Fine. But you didn't wait for me after all, so maybe we can be. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. I was just mean to you. I was thinking about running away. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, how about kebab? Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. That's lying. In high school I joined a few music clubs. Drama. That's about it. Haven't been looking either. Hey, that's not true. I watch you through your window and I see you looking at all kinds of magazines. I don't know what they are, but when they unfold, you sit down and you go to the bathroom for a really long time. What other explanation is that? I mean, uh, <clears throat> you're telling me you joined a club this year. You told me. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever the fuck she's rambling on about. So he likes, likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content with just getting by my average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh, you did. I was talking about how I'm worried because you don't know how to socialize and having this skills before college and then you go my weird shoes and then when you go to clubs you always listen to trap music you're like hey hey skate skate I 
That's crazy. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're really happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat. What the fuck is a neat? In a few years, because you're not used to the real world. Neat! You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Well, then don't! Leave me alone! All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs that makes you fucking happy. No promises, though. Well, you at least promise me you'll try it. I just said, I'll look. I just promised I'll look. That's me trying. Uh, yeah, I guess I promise you that. Dad! Well, I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. More than that, I'm surprised even myself I relent to her. Wait, I myself relent to her, whatever. I guess seeing her worry about me so much, I just want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she goes exaggerate everything inside her head. Yeah. Ugh. School day is ordinary as ever. It is over before you know it. After packing my things, I blink slightly at the wall. I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Siori wants me to check out some clubs. Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I hated anime club in high school. Hello? H hello? Ring, ring, hello? Sayori? Sorry, I must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out the classroom, but I saw you were just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. <laughs> Honestly, you didn't even worry me. Wait, you ain't worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. What are you impressed with? What are you, that I'm sometimes crazier than you drive me crazy, bitch. You need to wait out for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, you can come to my club with me, together, as one. Sayori. Yeah? I mean, yeah? No way I'm going to your club. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, Vice President of a Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be help, be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice Presidente. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I told Claire this day that I'll bring in my boyfriend! I mean, <clears throat> a new member. And, okay. Is it Natsuki or Natsuki? I'm gonna call her Nazi for now. And the Nazi made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! For real. Can't tell Sari is really that much of an airhead or she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. But alongside, fine. <laughs> I'll stop by for a cupcake. Just one cupcake. Alright, a physical bread, sweet bread with icing on it cupcake. Alright, I don't know what you people think. Oh, that's my cupcake. But no! Yeah! Let's go! And thus, today marks a day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Whoosh! Hey everyone, a new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, glance around the room. Girl one. Welcome to Literature Club! I mean, <clears throat> Welcome to Literature Club! It is a pleasure meeting you! Sari always says nice things about you. Oh, seriously? You brought a boy? Oh. 
way to kill the atmosphere. Well, how about Kebab? What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Except for the one that lives next to me. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, then just say it. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Nazi? I mean... <clears throat> Nazi? <clears throat> the girl with sour attitude whose name is apparently Nazi is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Sayori says that quietly to my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. But he said it kind of loudly. I'm sure everybody heard you. Anyway, this is Nazi, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. No, 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 no. Do not say such things. <laughs> Yuri appears to be comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori or Natsi, Natsuki, Natsuki. Ah. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. That sounds like you already know Monica, right? That's right. It's great to see you again, huh? Monica. Oh, Monica. Smiling sweetly. We do know each other well. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Oh, wait, no, that's me talking. Monica was, <laughs> Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Looks exactly the fucking same as Sayori. Basically, completely out of my league. Okay. But Yuri! It, I don't know. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, huh, Bob Kebab? Make room for you at the table. You can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little too excited. <laughs> then. Uh, then. How about to make some tea as well? Some really good old-fashioned tea! The girls have a few desks arranged from the table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki, 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 Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri turn, open, opens the closet. Oh, excuse me, opens a closet. Oh, how attractive I burped. Still feeling awkward, I sat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly approaches, wait, proudly approaches my back, tray in hand. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil out of the tray with a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Aw, how adorable. Just because I draw them with icing, little pieces of chocolate, we're used to make the ears. So cute! Oi! Oh wait, oh wait, no. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Not Natsuki. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, you know. Just, just hurry and take one. Say so grabs the first one, then Monica, I follow. So delicious! Sari tossed her mouth full, as Ori managed to get icing on her face. Turn the cup again around my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her face sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bite down. Icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is really good. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Oh, thank you, Nazi. Mm. What? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... 
Haven't I heard this number before? Make them for you or anything. Duh! Mm. Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori so said... Well, maybe. Oh, but not for you. You know, you, dummy. Uh, all right, all right. Okay. I give up on Natsuki's, not Nazis, not Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea seat. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down in the teapot, or before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep the whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy the good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <clears throat> Th that's not. Oh, no. 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 Insulted. Yuri looks away. Aww. But I meant. I, I meant that. It, you know. Oh, wait. I, I meant. Oh, well, whatever. I believe you. Well, tea reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. You f Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Okay, are, do all these girls just want to bang me? Is this what the fuck this is about? Monica, Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was technically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined the clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Oh, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Wink! Monica? I'm surprised. How can we decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around here. All the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and the publicity and about how to prepare events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to give the literature, then I am fulfilling that dream. Monica, you're a really great leader! Yuri also nods in agreement. Yes! Ab more Absolutely! Man, I'm surprised there are more people in the club yet. It must be so hard to start a new club. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. We can put that away. There are not many people that are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. Oh. We will do our best. Well, you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard. And yeah, maybe I was delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know how to keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Avbab Kabab, what kind of things do you like to read? Um, well, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good answer for that. Manga? Manga? Mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly sparks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I'm not much of a reader, I guess. <laughs> Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. 
My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story such as a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on and on and on and on Clearly passionate about her reading. Seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes out of when she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. You know, I like a lot of things, uh huh? Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as, as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Stephen King! It was really good. Desperately grasp something I can relate in the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. But someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh no. Oh, well why is that? Well, I just... See his eyes not over at me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just so cute as you are. Sorry, Siddles, saddle, Siddles, Siddles up behind that screen, puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Oh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Oh, uh, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet, huh? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest riches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough writing to share hers. Uh... I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah! I might read everyone's poems! Uh -huh. We all sat in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically. Quizzically. Add Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. <gasps> the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah. yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think we'll help us all be a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Hot Bob Kebab? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? Hey? And what's that? Now that you're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I'm bluntly come forth what's been on my mind the entire time. I, I never said I would join your club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my never made any decision. I still haven't haven't tried any other clubs. I got other clubs to look at and uh, lose my train of thought. Whoa! Now that I look up at the screen, they're all like, "What?" All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Aww! All four of them want my really big feet. 
because I can stomp things really tough. But, but I'm sorry. I, I thought. <laughs> Hi, Bob Kabob. You all. I'm made defenseless. Defenses against all these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh my god, he came down! Why did he came down? One by one, the girl's eyes, I look, of course, because they got what they fucking wanted. Yes! I'm so happy! So he wraps around around me and jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment, huh? Well, if you really came just for the cupcakes, well, I'm super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Um, eh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Hop off, kebab. I look forward to seeing you. <coughs> I mean, seeing how you express yourself. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welding up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Nazi clean up their food. Hey, up, up, come up! Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sarah and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for the clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way, make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsi, Yuri, and of course, Monique. I will really be happy spending every day in school and literature club. Or wait, will I really be, will I really be happy there? Perhaps I'll even have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will come to me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. All right guys, I've been playing this game for a little bit. Um. I will get back in the next episode and we will start writing this poem to these girls of which I guess they all have a crush on me and I have a crush on all of them for some reason. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching the video thus far and uh, hopefully, excuse me, and hopefully I remember the voices. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Game position, work the middle, work the middle, work the middle. What song is that?